You know, some people like to go to a large building that's very posh and meet famous people. But I prefer sitting at home alone in the dark and reassigning drive letters. If you can guess whether I'm lying through my teeth or not, I will donate you one of my teeth. And by teeth, I mean... Thumbtacks? I will donate you a thumbtacks. Anyway, apparently I missed some stuff around here or something. I, I think that's what I remember. Oh, my memory is so bad. Ah, it's a rat! Uh, well, now that I've screamed at the rat, I think I can carry on with- Oh, hey, there's stuff over there. Now, this pagan woman over here does say a thing which I would almost kind of want to hear. But with my luck, it's not going to happen on camera because camera luck! Oh, 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 young lady, have you been naughty or nice this evening? Well, after waiting like half an hour for her to open her sodding mouth, I guess I'm not gonna bother. I'll hear it eventually, undoubtedly. But first, let's grab a mine, which is of complete use in a run wherein I don't want to cause chaos. So with that in mind, I guess I will still not continue forward because I almost- Oh, something's be gone. Yes, that's true, they be gone, stupid. Say the seasy things line, dumbass. I'm so angry. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. I think somebody said that there was a wooden thing near the beginning here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I will go find it. I will go find it. All right, so what? There's some... Stop playing that exit sound if I'm not exiting. Stupid, not smart game. This is wood. I don't know. Am I supposed to climb this? Oh, maybe not. It seems to just go into the ceiling. Well... Okay, maybe... Oh, wait. I... Okay, I bet it's here. You climb this... <laughs> Maybe not? Oh, I can get through here. Hey, weird. So, yeah, dude, I'm not sure if I've ever climbed this before in my entire... lp or, or no, in my entire Thief 3 playing career. Like, what? Dude! This is like... The new place that I didn't know about with the beautiful blue sky that looks like it's day instead of night. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a doctor. Well, probably can't get up there. I don't know. I don't feel like reloading to try. Because seriously, reloading takes like literally 20 seconds. I timed it one time. It was about 20 freaking seconds to reload a save game. And that happens every time. It's dumb. And I freaking salute anyone who ghosts this game because that is just tedious. You're going to have to have so many reloads when you ghost, but the reloads take 20 seconds each at least. And maybe if there's like a more complicated mission, then like maybe it might even take more or something. So where the hell am I even going back around? And especially with the strange movement and physics in this game. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of show you what I mean later on here, but I, I don't know if I found absolutely everything, but I'm gonna call that everything and just, like, call it done. KK! Alright, so, back to the second part once again, let's do it! To us it means the trickster, sometimes the gill sweet, sometimes the bear, but to them that carries a hammer, he bees them worming death. And in case y'all remember me saying screaming death and other ing death things all the time, that's where I got the line, worming death. Except it's worming, not screaming. Worming, screaming, matching a, s a screaming worm. That would be hell of friggin' freaky. That would be some good horror material right friggin' there, man. Everybody rip me off and make a million dollars. Make a movie. The Screaming Worm. All it is is just shot after shot after shot of some random person walking along, and all of a sudden this worm Careful comes friend. up to them. He's a troubling moon. And screams. <laughs> And then the tsin 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 sound plays and it just moves on to the next scene. It'll be the awesome, ultimate, art house, freaking extravaganza. Is it just me or is every female character in this game morbidly anorexic? I mean, just saying. <laughs> Over there, something. Oh, bees. There you mm -hmm. bees. Yeah, I, I almost think that there's only one female AI model in the entire <laughs> game with just different clothing and face textures on her. Is almost what I think because I'm actually, yeah. Me thought 
someone was supposed to be here. Me thought that me going to eat cookies or whatever. That was bad. I don't know why, but every time people would call those death metal vocals Cookie Monster vocals, I'd be like, I remember Cookie Monster sounding high voice, but maybe that was some other monster. Let's talk about Sesame Street. Remember, kids, if you find my commentary annoying, don't watch my videos. Bing. Problems being solved since 1580 12. And yes, I'm tailing everybody because look at him. His bleached hair is just unacceptable in a polite society that hates Udo metal singer guy. I can't remember his last name. Very, very, very German sounding or whatever the heck. Anyways, Accept is a band. It's a weird name. But, but yeah, around here is kind of a uh, way to demonstrate this game's janky ass physics. I mean, yeah, because right there I was walking on the edge wrongly. Arson, murder, and wrong walking. Okay, because this, there's like gaps everywhere, and half the time you think that you're sort of just walking in between them, but then sometimes, well, it's not happening now, is it? But then sometimes you get stuck, and you can't go anywhere, and then you very slowly fall down. I don't know. It, what? Then you have to jump and make noise, and then sometimes you get stuck again, and I'm just talking in a monotone voice because it's awesome. Ugh! I friggin' hate how you cannot put down things quietly in this game. What were they thinking? TM. Now everybody... <laughs> anyway, I don't know if there's a fire here or whatever. Oh, well, there's something roasting over an open fire. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a human hand. Okay, well, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. This, this mission... It, it's it's kind of okay. I kind of like it. I don't know. I think... I think that they did kind of do an okay job of having multiple paths and layers within the constraints of having to be very... <sighs> See? Like, I thought I could walk over that, but I couldn't. And then instead of just dropping me down right away, it teases you to make you think that maybe you could get back on, but nope. Yeah, so... And it's hard to judge jumps because I don't know if you noticed, but... You don't... You don't really jump in just an arc, you almost jump up first and then you go a little forward or something. Maybe. Or it just looks weird to jump, because of your stupid body awareness system that I said wasn't a big deal. But it's really, really hard to judge compared to the Dark Engine. So that's why I say again, I freaking salute anyone who ghosts or even attempts to ghost this game, because man, it is freaking hard to do things that were simple in the old engines. And you constantly make noise! And first alerts aren't even, like, just a comment, but no stopping or seeking like they are in dark. They actually do stop and look around a bit and stuff. So it's, like, harder. Oh, I'm gonna whining. Monday. Well, we've made an arrangement with the, well, I guess I'll call them the peas for safety's sake. They'll use our garden and such, with a fellow named Scythe tending the crops. Not sure why the wife and I were in such a giving mood, but those plums the woman brought were beyond delicious. Saturday, dinner was a disaster. The spread was first rate from the garden, but no sooner did we sit when that old biddy Lorna screams and jumps out of her chair, points at the window saying something was watching her. I tried to calm her, but then the something let out a yowl. Everyone left in a panic. Harriet in... Tears. Monday. I don't want to worry Harriet, but I daren't go in the garden. I used to go and check on things, but now I'm an unwelcome stranger, and most of the crops I don't recognize. What do they need all those people for? I asked about a hole they were digging, and Scythe gave me a look, put a chill right down my spine. Thursday. I'm going to confront Scythe. A man should be able to walk his own garden without fear. And for what? Carrots and apples? This arrangement with the pagans hasn't worked out, and now it ends. We never agreed to all... These strangers coming and going, and we never agreed to those horrible things, whatever they are. And we never agreed to Bubs getting all the royalties. Hmm. So I guess this is a quote-unquote shortcut back or something. Yeah. See, you know, there's like up and down levels and stuff, and I think that there's other types of levels, such as the boss level and the level wherein you save the princess and stuff. I don't know, but... So the pagans are preparing for war. And also, this is another jump which is like freaking annoying because, like, seriously, can you mantle? Well, apparently not. Oh, wait, hey, another 20 seconds. 
You would almost think they're encouraging you to use moss arrows. Oh, ho, ho, ho. except that didn't seem to have any effect. <sighs> okay, okay, you, okay, you guys, seriously. Yeah, well, as if I could do anything about that. My name is not Sounder. I'm not some weird dog that some work is named after, even though it's actually a very poignant story about some other family entirely and doesn't have much to do with the dog, but I guess you gotta be like, Hey, man, it's Sounder. Why couldn't they have just called it an ethnic minority gets treated extremely poorly for 90 minutes and then it ends uh, on a plane. I am making light of something that shouldn't probably be made hmm. light of, but hey. The old gear looks precarious. Someone could have an accident. <laughs> yes, 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 they, they, they actually in fact could. Oh, Garrett, he won't put anybody down. Anyway, this isn't Bioshock Infinite, so let's do the... Yeah, okay, so this gear here, for some reason, is a way to for them battle. to be completely non-thief-like, if you're ready. interested in being completely non-thief-like, in case this is the only game you have, and you'd really much rather be playing Call of Duty 10,000, the generic edition, but this is all you've got, well, here's what you can do, because in Call of Duty, you push big gears around, right? I totally know. So, you can kill one or more of them, but... It's kind of fun to squish them, but then... And if this were a game where you just kind of kill people, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but now it just causes chaos, so it's, there's like really no reason for any halfway serious thief to do that. Psh, snob. Talk. I'm a snob. So, instead of pushing the gear... I guess I'll just let these guys constantly interrupt me. Feeders them man fools to them earths. Careful. Yeah. I th some of those voices are like weirdly recorded. It sounds like that demon voice, like the doubled up, like, uh, you know, Princess <sighs> Elfin Celestia, what's her freaking face? Galadriel from those, from, from Fellowship. You know. Anyways, you can see the Hammer Fool Factory is there, and there's Sleepsy, because that's like an incredibly cute word. They just really nailed the cute in this game. I feel that uh, this game really benefits from cuteness and. They just nailed that cuteness directly to the wall. Takers so know the enemy for prisoners. Feeders for them war. man fools to them earths. Yes. Stop interrupting, Garrett. A anyway. He's, he's nothing can grow in He's like the trees in them comes your strength from the earth. I see Z. Do you think so? Think as me them hammerheads put curses on it. Shaman B's the only I one with magics to fight the hammerheads. Oh, them priestess, Diane. Yes, but she be busy with Earth. more important works. <laughs> well, first, then lunch. you'll will be hearing and seeing from Diane later. But first, let me just take care of everybody in the continental breakfast style, which is apparently a waffle filled with whipped cream and a pancake inside of it with a raspberry on top. I thought it was scrambled eggs and bacon, but that might be the intercontinental breakfast. Hell if I know! So here's the kind of neat place where kind of like some over and under type stuff, and I don't know. I almost think that there's multiple ways you can go and I usually went a way that isn't this way or something. Oh, hey, there's nothing in the chest, but you gotta remember to close it or else they say this door is open when it didn't used to be. But it's not a door, it's a chest lid. I cannot believe that they did not make that distinction in the AIs. What a bunch of lazy AI writers and voice actors. Incredibly, they just don't have enough unique lines at all. Nope. Is this right, so, Driftwood? So, <laughs> Am I doing it right? What if wounded? So, yeah, you can kind of sneak around these guys, I guess. What be is that oh. Well, yeah, I don't know. There's probably nothing here, but I... If I make noise... You hiding, you afraid? If I make noise, these guys are going to care anyway, and I'm definitely going... I don't know. Well? Oh. And that 
that was for my boys, by which I mean my homies in the front row who hate my commentary. Little special surprise for you, a bit without commentary. It'll be like it. Anyway, that didn't sound at all like that smarmy freaking 18 year old BBC announcer who somehow is like the worst thing ever, but it's sort of like, and uh, that was that great show, but if you think that was great, well, we've got an even greater one coming up, so uh, stay tuned. Can't stand it! Stay tuned. How are you for this? Or don't go away. Okay, I'm done. But there's something down here, and Likes there may also be something up I can't remember. Like, does this ladder go? I am the forgetsy one. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like, you know, like they really did their is, level is best. Right, they had technical limitations, maybe bad. Is this right, Driftwood? I don't know, but, but you know, whatever. They had some sort of limitations, but they did a fairly good job He's with them. Like the oh, and that's special loot. So yeah, now you get to go kind of above, and it makes a ching 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 sound, which all sounds all soft. You know, Thief is like the only engine... Well, no, I mean, it's it's an old engine, and therefore everything sounds nice and hard and solid. Not like these ri ridiculously like soft sounds like, like Dishonored, that. like where it's like... And everything's fuzzy, like modern games. Oh, I hate These modern things, including computers and cars and not having scurvy. So I guess this is just like a semi-isolated kind of area, maybe, perhaps. All right, then. Had we a rope arrow, we'd be able to go up there, but alas, comes your strength from the earth. Anyone who steps up is going to get hurt. Hey. I was gonna say creep crouch crawl works, but no, you don't make any noise when you crouch. I never even realized that till somebody pointed it out just recently. That's sort of odd. Anyway, yeah, this is the over and above thing that I was thinking of. But now I gotta figure out how to not die and not get hurt, because getting hurt is sure not a good experience. Oh Lord, no! All right, then. Where the hell am I now? Sleepsy, perhaps? Nearsy the sleepsy? I wanna go down in that freaking river and. And check out that annoying sounding stomping guy because I like annoying things. Shit. Like, like shit and feces. They're different things, you understand. One of them is an exclamation of outrage, and the other is something that happens when you eat a lot of food that you don't need and then it disappears in a very disgusting way. I, I think. This is very awkward of me to just keep saying this, but there is a big old tree beast down here, so here it comes. Oh, there are some more tree beast. And let me just demonstrate backstabbing. God damn it! Oh, that's sneaking. Aha! Comes he Why is I here? Man, watch this. A random sword is gonna drop, and she's gonna hear it. Like over there. I didn't do shit. That's. Stupid sword just dropped, like, we can't spawn our items properly. That is totally not fair. I knows I saw someone here, but where's? Uh, so I guess it's pretty hard to get behind these guys. Pfft, why not? But, yeah, you can backstab people. I don't think I've demonstrated it all. But this guy is getting stuck like a moron, which might actually be convenient for me. But he's gonna hear me if I... Okay. Oh! Yeah, now he goes. Come on! Stab him! Jesus! Yeah, so... That's the very awkward way that you backstab people. And, uh, it is a literal backstab, not a metaphorical one. Uh, but, uh, I needs my loot! And I guess those people can just alert, because chaos is pretty fun in this game, despite me just not not disowning it, by which I mean disowning it earlier. I, I I retract my disownment and replace it with atonement. And I think that'll be all for now. Having slain the big boss monster, I will see you guys later. And bye for now. Mike, the microphone, knows who I am.